The year is 2017, a time before masks, social distancing, lockdowns, a time of cinemas and great movies like Dunkirk, The Merowitz Stories, Good Time, Lady Bird, and the Edgar Wright masterpiece, Baby Driver. This was my first Wright movie in the cinema, and safe to say my mind was blown. Yes, the movie was great, but there was one part in particular that stood out to me. The editing. And immediately after leaving the cinema, I then binged the rest of his filmography. And in all his films, it was always the editing that constantly stood out for me. So I want to explore in this video essay how and why Wright uses the art of editing to make his films stand out against the work of current modern day directors. There's many distinct editing practices that Wright employs in his films that take advantage of this cinematic art form. First, I want to explore the transition, something that in a lot of modern day blockbusters is simply underutilized. It consists of just normal cuts from scene to scene. Wright often uses creative ways to keep his films feeling kinetic. Transitions from scene to scene don't feel disjointed. Often the energy from one scene leaks into the next and keeps the momentum of Wright's films fast-paced at all moments. Take this scene from Scott Pilgrim. In the first 10 minutes of the film, we are introduced to Scott and his new girlfriend Knives. Now to show how new and fresh this relationship is and the amount of time that they are spending together, Wright doesn't give us multiple drawn out scenes of conversation to emphasize this. Instead, he condenses this into a short one minute sequence that utilizes frame wipes to jump between different locations and carries the conversation between the two between the scenes. This allows the movie to stay at its desired tempo while still highlighting ideas that would normally take lengthy amounts of the film to convey. Wright's films are masterpieces of comedy in their writing and visual comedy within the scenes, but he also uses transitions as a form of visual comedy. Take for instance another scene from Scott Pilgrim, when Scott is getting ready to face Gideon in the climax of the film. Something that should be quite boring and mundane, Scott putting on clothes and leaving his house, is instead injected with energy by using quick cuts, zooms and great sound design to bring the scene to life. The scene is made even funnier by the slow, methodical way Scott ties his shoes as it breaks the energy in the scene for a few seconds and then zooms in as if the cut had the same energy as the previous shots. This fast-paced cutting is another staple of Wright's and can be found in all his films. Looking at Hot Fuzz, we have again what could be a pretty mundane scene of Nicholas moving cities, but it's instead given the right treatment and he manages to turn this uncinematic idea into a visual treat, and also manages to add comedy into the film at the same time. The scene is especially impressive as it achieves four things. It explains what's going on in the film without saying a single word. We know Nicholas is moving cities through the series of quick cuts, and through Simon Pegg's performance, we're aware that he isn't happy about this. It keeps the film moving at a fast pace and doesn't overstay its welcome by taking up time that can be used elsewhere in the film for more interesting plot elements. It shows a large passage of time, again using the quick cuts, but also using another right staple, match cuts, to show the lengthy time Nicholas has been waiting at the train station. And through the expertly done sound design, it also manages to be funny. This is what stands right from other directors, especially comedy directors, working today. He uses the audiovisual art of cinema as just that, an audiovisual art form. At every step in his films, there's thought put into how the film can be enhanced by audio and visual techniques to keep the audience engaged at all moments. He purposefully uses every minute of the runtime to tell the story he wants to. The other main staple of Wright's films is the rhythmic nature of them, and normally this is achieved in the edit. Baby Driver is the best example of this. This film acts as a sort of musical in a way that every single movement and moment is timed to an internal beat. From the actual cuts themselves, slamming of car doors even to the footsteps of the characters. In this way Baby Driver is edited more closely to modern day music videos than typical feature films and that can be said about most of Wright's films. There's a clear tempo and rhythm to the editing 
that is there even if the scenes are void of music. However, the thing that sets apart his films from musicals and music videos is that nothing ever feels choreographed. Things happen to be on the beat, but there's no anticipation built up to the moment. You're never waiting for moments to happen, they just naturally occur rhythmically. Specifically in Baby Driver, this way of editing keeps the film kinetic and creates a sense of urgency, both in Baby's job when he's driving the getaway car, but also in Baby's desire to be free of his life of abetting criminals. The impressiveness and specificity of the editing in Baby Driver was no small feat. It required the editor Paul Maclis, who worked on Scott Pilgrim, The World's End and Baby Driver, to be editing on set every day simultaneously while the movie was being shot to make sure the shots were timed perfectly when put to the music. But all that work resulted in a masterclass in editing and earned him and co-editor Jonathan Amos an Oscar nomination. I think when describing the editing in Wright's films, Maclis puts it best. It's a slow process, but I think when you watch it back, you're not aware of that. That's the beauty of it. The scenes have a natural feeling of fluidity, which belies the amount of painstaking work they take. Wright, along with the brilliant editors, sound designers and sound editors, are truly using the potential of cinema to create interesting, diverse and captivating films that are filled with energy. That's why Mr. Wright, in the iconic words of Scott Pilgrim, I'm in lesbians with you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a like and consider subscribing for more video essays. And as always, in the comments below, let me know what you found in frames.